Hey everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. The last mission was a really tough mission, we lost three rookies, but our assault Killian Doyle lived to tell the tale, basically finishing the alien abduction mission on their own, which was pretty pog if you ask me. We're in the barracks right now because we have a few more soldiers to team. We have now Squarey B, who's now our support. We have Abby Abby, or Heavy. And also Johnson Johnson, who is our American rookie. And we'll try and get him on some missions in the future. Again, if people want to have characters named, we still have Killian Doyle to be renamed at some point. So, we have that legend. And we have a few more soldiers. I will hire some more soldiers as well if, like, we get a few more people that want some recruits. But I'm not going to just destroy my finances for it. I'm just saying that. So, we're coming, like... And maybe like a third of the way towards like the number of soldiers I actually want for naming. Anyway, without further ado, let's go back to the mission we're going to be doing. Which I think we said was Seattle, United States. And we have basically our A-team. We have Doyle, again, who took no damage on the last mission. Or, uh, uh, sorry, our assault unit. Square B, who's now got a med kit and is a support. The Sniper Panda has a scope. Hopefully hit some more headshots. And we've got a heavy Abby who's going to go out with grenades. Let's go. <coughs> we need to stop suffering, like, immense casualties on a mission. Like, we're losing, like... I think on average, like, two people per mission. Not including the fact that I, like, died three times on the first mission. We could really do with a clean mission here. Our AO is within the continental United States. But I mentioned this before to someone in the comment section. I think it might have been Panda, actually. XCOM always has a, a steep curve at the beginning to get into the game. And as we get more and more abilities, the game will get easier and easier. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Right, as usual, let's find where we are. We're kind of in the middle of the map, but close to the bottom left corner. It would be nice to get our sniper onto high... In fact, it would be nice to get everyone to high cover, but there is no cover on the high cover. Which scares me a little bit. So I think we're going to move just forwards okay. for now. And I might take an aggressive yellow move. We need to get some meld canisters at some point. I'm fairly content moving into full cover. That being said, I wouldn't mind moving with my assault first. Out. Can you just go into the full cover, Doyle? Thank you. It was just if anything went wrong, and like, I don't know, there was some secret pod just on the left side. I could have smoked it. Okay, let's get our sniper going forwards. I don't think I'm going to put them on the high ground right now. There's a the melt canister. I like the look of this if they're in the dip, because I can take high ground and there's full cover here. That looks perfect for a sniper. Okay, I'm a bit worried about taking this half cover here. Because I think that will reveal a little bit more vision. Okay, I'll do it with the heavy. You know what I think about... Uh, what's his name anyway? I'm just going to go here. What I think about half cover just doesn't exist. And even on the last mission we saw what full cover was like. As we got killed in full cover. Okay, there's a melt canister back there as well. Right, I'd really like to get my sniper up into position. Am I ready to pop the pod there? I think I am. Okay, we haven't popped the pod, which is a little bit frightening, not gonna lie. You'd have to dash up. Can you cut over here? Hmm. I think we try not pop a pod now. Okay, that's perfect. So I'll try not get myself any more vision now. That being said, I think you pop here. And then my support moves all the way up. I think I'm happy enough with this position. Overwatch. Hey, you can hunker. I mean, you could get the pistol out, I suppose. And then go into Overwatch. Yeah, I think I'm happy enough with that. And you go into Overwatch. I would love them to walk into my range now. Hello. I'm also worried that we've lost so many people net right now that we're going to start getting thin men on missions. Nice. A little one damage here and there. Helps. 
Okay, so they're both hiding behind the... Cr I say both. All three of them are hiding behind the crane right now. Let me go back into my sniper rifle. We have no shot here. What I could do is just yeet a rocket down there. Because I think literally all of them are behind this. Ninth chance to hit. Please do not hit the wall. I think it's a good use of a rocket. Okay, we did 6 damage and 10 damage. So I think we've killed 2. I think 1 is still alive. So if it's the case, I don't really want to be in half cover. I also want to do an aggressive move like this. I think I'd move, prefer to move around the side. So let me shuffle you. That's fine. Shuffle you. Go into Overwatch. Although, like, it's going to be a pretty negligible Overwatch. Sniper goes into Overwatch too. And I think you hunker. Because you've got a shotgun, like, you're not going to hit from there. Yeah, there is one left. And he went into Overwatch. Oh, there's two! Oh, shoot, I only killed one, really? I guess one was the rocket hit and one was... That could have done with hitting. Come on, Panda. Yeah, I guess one was the rocket hit and one was the explosion of the... Uh, the digger. But we're in full cover, so let's not worry about this too much. Right, let's see your shot. 65 and 65. What's the damage? Up to 5. I could headshot. Come on, Panda. We can hit this headshot, right? This is the more annoying one for me, I think. Nice, Panda. 9 crit damage. Well done. Okay. I could... Jump down there now. Can I get down there with B though? Hmm. Right now, I'm, I'm just a little bit reluctant to run and gun and charge into them. That's basically how you lose missions. Do I want to go into the full cover here though and have sight of him, or the full cover here and probably not have sight? I'm also worried moving up might trigger another pod anyway. It's a bit scary, honestly. I don't want to go into the half cover. You don't have a shot with your LMG. I'm going to risk it because I'll still have running gun up. Okay. So I'm just doing this just to reposition. Squarey B. To get a shot. 50% because we're in high ground. Squarey B, can you do it? She can, but she hasn't got the kill. Okay. I need to get you into the action, Abby. Is this full cover inside? You won't jump through the window, unfortunately. I could risk putting him in half cover, but basically that means I'm just saying you're going to get shot, so. Aye, aye, Commander. I guess you just come up to here and overwatch, even though it's pointless. And I think you're going to overwatch too this time. Because if they come close to you, you'll get a shot off. They're going to have really bad shots against me. I mean, full cover everywhere. Okay, there's the second pod. Not surprised the shotgun shot missed. It's pretty annoying that she got broken by these guys. Okay, that makes things a bit more difficult. And he ran. Oh, okay, he's not ran. Okay, so I'm now fighting on like two flanks. I would love again, Panda, if you could just tick this guy off. 65%. It's okay, Panda. We'll get the next turn. Right. How much room is back there? It's so unlikely that there's another pod like hidden in this corner, but it's so risky to run and gun into it. I might do it if it's to save a unit, but... For now... I don't wish that wasn't there either, because that'd be full cover. Hmm. I think I'm just going to shuffle across to here. Moving to position. Oh, he doesn't give me sight. Okay. I could... Mm, is this full cover? I could move to here and try and get a shotgun blast, but I think there's one more pod on this mission. And my guess is they're up in this top corner. 
So I'm really reluctant to make moves to the right. I think this is going to be a slow play for me. I'm going to hide Killian in the corner right now. We might lose this Mel Canister, but that's fine. I also don't really want to waste your shot, so I might hunker. I also think you're going to take the brunt of the shots. Then I think you're going to overwatch. We'll let them come towards us. This guy is the one that's worrying me the most. Is he going to move? No, he's getting mind melded by someone. That's actually perfectly fine. That takes up an action. One is moving forwards. I think that's a miss on the LMG there, Abby Abby. Okay, interesting maneuver from the sectoid. That's only half cover though. Okay. We need to get you on the training ground for a little bit of aim practice here. <laughs> Okay, another double move forwards. That's a really nice place for a grenade, by the way. And then you're just going to shuffle, possibly into full cover. Nope. You're just going to hide. Oh, it's another pod. That's the last pod. So all pods are on the map, I think, now. But that is super scary. We're going to have to play very safe here. Okay. First things first. A sniper panda sees everything. 85% shot. I think you can't turn down an 85%er. Get in, Panda. Okay, we're not going to complain, but I really could have done with the kill there, Panda. Run and gun in this version, you can't use an item at the end of it, right? I think that's the case. So, someone is on this side of the truck. I think I shuffle you across then, Killian, and get the kill. 100% chance. Perfect. Killing's in a bit of a dangerous place right now, though. Then, a 47% chance to hit. What square have you got? A 50% on this guy down here. Abby also has a grenade. Can I move square to here and get a shot? Because what I'm thinking right now is toss grenade... At these two. And then finish them off with Squarey B. I'm going to try it. That was unexpected. And I'm so happy I didn't run and gun up there. So there is a fourth pod. Okay. We've popped every single pod on the map. And we're fighting them all at the same time. That's pretty bad. But I'm hoping to get at least a kill here. I mean, it will be one kill if I get anything. But I'm also destroying a lot of cover here. 70%. We have to take the 70%. Well, we're taking a lot of shots here. We missed the 70%. That's painful. Okay. Let's see how good full cover really is. There's going to be a lot of mind melding again. So let's not worry about this right now. Who am I really scared for? Killian, honestly, is a big frightening for me because they're kind of in the line of fire. I'm also worried about one of these guys just blowing out a cover or blowing up the truck down here. But Killian's on the low ground as well, so they're going to get advantage, like for high ground. Oh, go for the sniper, sure. These guys have to reposition. Okay, that's an aggressive reposition from the sectoid. Please do a sensible thing in the panic. That's fine. Hunkering is okay. I can live with a hunker. See what I mean? Dangerous. Okay. We only have three units this turn. You have to hit the 70 here, Squarey B. Thank you. We could really do with like three kills this turn at least. I still have running gun here. You're out of shots, Panda. That's painful. Locked and loaded. 
If I move here, then someone who's still alive up here is going to flank me and kill me. Where is a nice place to run and gun? How? Mm, no, that's dangerous. I was going to say, maybe go behind this fridge, but then I'll just get flanked next turn. I still have a grenade here. Okay. I'm super scared that Abby's going to get flanked by a sectoid on a suicide mission. This sectoid is the one that bothers me the most. The one in the half cover here. Because I really don't know what they're going to do. No one else has gone that high up. I could just toss a grenade at it. But I think that's a pretty mediocre turn. Also, I can't get back up there. There's no way to climb that way. I could just hide in the corner here and yeet a grenade at him. I think that's the safest thing to do. Or at least it's the thing that makes Abby still potentially alive next turn. It's a big use waste of a grenade though, just to kill one sectoid. It's also one that was mine melded, so I don't think it's going to do a feedback damage. But it also means I can put you in full cover. That being said, killing could then get flanked by a sectoid, I think. I, I reckon their movement's enough that they could just get adjacent to me. But that would then definitely be a kill. This is hard. Who knew popping every single pod in the game is hard? I could also... Oh, I can't actually get into the half cover there. And I have to shoot at the end of run and gun. Part of me wants to back up, but part of me doesn't. There's part of me as well that just wants to let it ride and just see what that sectoid does, but I think they might just suicide. Because the other nice play that I could make is throw the grenade at the one health sectoid here, Try and blow up the truck and kill the other guy on 5 health. I'm going to hope that a sectoid doesn't do his... Oh yeah, overwatch. Okay, now we're in deep doo-doo. Should have checked the overwatch, that's my completely my fault. Okay, because of that then, I think I have to protect Killian. Hope the truck explodes. And Abby, just good luck. Just hope the sectoid doesn't die. The truck is going to explode now. Remember how he's hunkered as well, so maybe the shots come to squarey, but... Please truck explode, because this will make this action completely wasted. Firing at the sniper again. I'm surprised. I know Abby's hunkered right now. Okay, you did move. Panda, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, they're gonna do the suicide play to get a kill. Aha, this is bleak. Two named soldiers go, that does blow up eventually. Oh my god, Square B's not got any ammo. Okay, Square B's gonna back off now. Moving. And you're gonna get the pistol kill here, right? He's not gonna get the kill, is it? Unless he does two in crits. Okay, you did get the kill. Thank you, Square B. Is that full cover or half cover? Doyle has done this before. I don't think there's an overwatch again. We just have to slow play this. It hurts losing two units again though. I mean, in fact, it could be more, honestly. I've lost all the meld again. They're backing up. Advance. Right, they're backing off. You didn't, you move forwards. And you're just going to get the kill. I should have ran. That was, again, probably a misplay. And I have to reload here. I need to use my, uh, my assault rifle to get the kills. I could have smoked as well, but... That's what happens, I guess, when you pop every single pot in the game. But 
But I think this is going to be a wipe, because unlike the Assault, who can do a lot of damage, my support can't. I think they might have blown and cover out my sniper as well, by the way, on one of the shots. I think that's how they got killed. But super, super rough. <laughs> Full cover. Are they just taking the shot from me? Oh, reaction shot. It would have helped if Square B had hit, like, you know, some of the shots this mission. But they're just now going to be firing into full cover. Over here. Right, they have two 50-50s. We do have a med kit, but... I, I have to kill pods because they're all just running up towards me now. Squad is dead. You can tell me that. Only there was something we could have done. That's brutal. Of our that we, we lose our most killy units. We've lost all our special units. Panic is increased across everywhere because we failed the mission. We will be watching. Okay. So there's two things I can do here. One of them would be to carry this on. I do have soldiers left. As the alien attacks have become more I only have four though, and they're all rookies. I think what's going to happen though is we're about to get XCOM Season 2, baby. I, I think this is too bad a start to carry on anymore. I've, I've not really done Impossible. In fact, I've never had a start this brutal before. But I feel like having four rookies now at this stage in the game when I'm about to get thin men and I'm so behind on like tech and stuff, I think it's game over. I, I've learned some things from this though. I guess one thing is just to not like make too many aggressive movements. And that pods can be in very sneaky places. Other than that, I guess pulling back units isn't a bad thing. Like sprinting back into full cover isn't a terrible play. Like I let my assault die then basically and I should have just sprinted back into the full cover. I don't know why I left him on the low ground. But I think that mission was doomed after... We got hit in full cover and our sniper died. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the series, or you have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comment below. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.